Okay, so the first thing we have to do is make a dot plot. So we're gonna take all of these numbers right here and we're going to put them over here using dots, represent them. So the one is here, and mark it off. Then zero here, make sure they stay as even as you can, but you know, I'm not perfect. They're not gonna be perfect. Three, five, and so on. Okay, so now I have a dot plot right here. What I need to do now is analyze the dot plot and find the mean, the median, and the range from this information. So in order to uh, take some time away, I'm going to count up how many zeros I have. So one, two, three, four. So four zeros is still gonna give me a value of zero. So I'm gonna put it right here, plus. Okay, now one times one, two, three, four. One times four is four. Then two times one, two, three, four, five. Two times five is 10. Then three times four, one, two, three, four. Three times four is 12. Plus one, four. Plus two fives, which is 10. Now I'm gonna add these up. So zero plus nothing, it doesn't matter. Four plus 10 is 14, mark that out. Plus 12, 14 plus 12 is gonna be 26. Then plus another four, that's gonna be 30 plus 10, and that's 40. So my sum of all of this information right here is 40. Now I'm gonna take 40 and I'm going to divide it by the amount of numbers that I added up. That way I can find my mean. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So 40 divided by 20 equals two. So my mean, now I have to find my median because it says median. In order to do that, I have to list all of these numbers. I'm going to do it this way. There's another way, but so I'm going to list all of these numbers. So I have four zeros. So one, two, three, four, four ones, one, two, three, four. Okay, so now in order to find the median, I'm going to mark off the least number, one of the least and one of the greatest until I get to the center. So, gone, gone, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine. That leaves two twos in the middle, so that means the median is two. If you wanted to, you could add both of those up. Two plus two equals four. Four divided by two is still going to equal a median of two. The last thing you have to do is the range. So your range is going to be your greatest number minus your least number. So my greatest number here is five. It's going to be five minus zero. And that equals five. Last thing you have to say if your data distribution is symmetric or not symmetric. So uh, symmetric means that if you were to cut it in half, both halves would have the same amount or they would look the same. In this case, like think about like a heart, two sides of a heart look the same. In this case, this data is not symmetrical because it doesn't look the same on either half of the two. So not <laughs> symmetric. Hey guys, so I hope that explanation was as clear as mud. And if it doesn't help, then that's okay. We're going to figure it out. Just let me know. Love you. Hey guys, I bet that video Miss Driver just sent did really help y'all. If you need help, just feel free to reach out. I love y'all and I miss y'all. Hope you're doing good. Bye. Bye.